Hey guys and welcome back to Tutorial Box and today we're going to talk about how to use LastPass Password Manager. This is a beginner's tutorial so it's going to be pretty simple. First thing you want to do is head to their website lastpass.com and it'll show you their landing page with all their awards and certifications. Scrolling down a little bit you'll see an example of how their extension works mainly. After manually signing on to any sign on screen with the extension installed, it'll automatically fill in your details the next time you log in. Scroll a bit further down, you'll see their available plans for personal use. They have a free, premium, and a family plan. Premium costs $3 a month, and family is for $4 a month. Now these are billed annually, so they cost $36 a year to $48 a year. If you're not sure what's best for you, or you just want to try it out, the free plan lets you experience premium features for 30 days. The features available on free include unlimited passwords, one user account, access on one device type, save and autofill passwords, one-to-one -one sharing, passwordless login, password generator, security dashboard, and dark web monitoring. Premium has additional access to all devices you have, one gigabyte encrypted file storage, one-to-many sharing, advanced multi-factor options, emergency access, and personal customer support. The family plan has all of those, a family manager dashboard to manage users and security, and a group of share items and folders option. To get things started, click the button in the top right corner that says Get LastPass Free and it'll bring you to a register page, where you need to input your email address, master password, and a reminder if you forget your password. Now you don't ever want to forget this password as this is what we'll use to log into LastPass. Once you're done, just click the big red button below and it'll open a new page greeting you welcome. All you need to do is click Install LastPass and it'll bring you to the Chrome Web Store. Wait for it to load a little bit and click the Add to Chrome or whatever browser you have installed. It'll only take a few seconds to download. You may even check the progress on the top right corner of the browser screen to see. Once that's done, it should automatically redirect you to your password management center or your LastPass vault. Here you'll arrive to the LastPass Vault landing screen, and if you look over here to the left, this, the left panel over here, you'll see the collapse, all items, the sharing center, the password, notes, addresses, payment cards, and bank accounts. Now you won't simply have your passwords ready right away, so to do that, navigate to the all items on the left panel and simply click import many passwords at once to LastPass. There are also suggestions on how to set up your LastPass account on the right side over here should you miss a step. So just wait for it to come out. If it doesn't come out, of course, you can simply click the button in the middle once more. So it'll show you a screen asking where the passwords are. Click the browser you're using, and it'll show you how to get those passwords from a browser. All you need to do is go to Settings and click Autofill, and look for the option Export Passwords File. Click that, and it'll download a file. It's commonly an Excel file. And then, after doing so, go back to your LastPass vault, upload the file, and it should look like this. These are the passwords in the file. And um, after that, simply click Import All, and now you should have all the passwords saved by your browser available inside your vault. It'll show you this pop-up, and to make things more secure, delete the file you used during the import process, turn off any other built-in password managers, and delete all the passwords saved by your browser. For that, go to Settings, click Autofill, delete any password that you've saved. Closing this, you'll now see that all the passwords are available in your vault. So you can see it by putting this drop-down menu over here. As you can see, these are my login details. Uh, for example, I'm going to go over to this one that I have for Discord. It'll show the site name, the username that I have, and the password, which I can reveal if I wanted to. So, for all the things that we did for the password, if, if you can also input them manually for notes, addresses, even for your payment cards and your bank accounts. We have one more option here on the left. This is the security dashboard where you can see your security score, see how safe your vault and passwords are. These are your at-risk passwords uh, where you can set up multi-factor authentication, the trusted devices and permitted mobile devices use, used on uh, for multi-factor authentication. You can activate it and uh, see how your security is doing. And also there's the dark web monitoring to see if your details, sensitive info is being used anywhere else aside from where you normally go. And that is pretty much it. If I help you, please consider to like and subscribe. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll see you guys next time.